You're welcome back. This is News for Alice, your most authoritative news analysis show. And a couple of your comments that you've been sending in. And this one is coming from Mami, uh, sending far away from France. And she says that I spoke to some friends in the States, uh, like in states like West Virginia and Florida, and to them, Donald Trump is a symbol of hope because they feel left behind. They did not care about his racist and sexist comments, nor his uh, radical foreign policies. They believe he will bring back jobs to their communities. I think Ghanaians in urban areas should take, should take a cue. <laughs> urban populations are increasingly living in a bubble and getting out of touch with the rural masses. Then Elvis Darkon says that um, before the votes, Mike Huckabee um, said he believes that there is a lot of hidden support for Donald Trump among people who won't say they are going to vote for him out of fear of being seen as racist, bigot, or xenophobic. This is why all the opinion polls got it wrong. Well, not all. There were one or two <laughs> that got it right for him, uh, including significant individuals, you know, who are, who are entities themselves, who also predicted what they, f they felt that uh, Donald Trump will get. But frankly, the majority was that he was not going to uh, win. There's... Uh, Quite a number of uh, similar messages here. Uh, this one from Ibrahim Kopa. He says, the system is not just and fair to magistrates and other lower judges. The superior court judges retired on their salaries, retire on their salaries. And at the same time, they are paid higher salaries than judges in the lower courts. There can never be equality, but there should be some um, fairness, relative relative fairness you say okay and then frederick larson says this is the price you pay for real rule uh, real roading hillary through uh, through the democratic national convention never liked bernie sanders worked against him all through the primaries and now they are paying for it sanders would have easily won the polls for the democrats there are a whole lot of democrats out there who didn't vote for either on the ballot simply because they are yet to heal from the raw deal they are, uh, Bernie Sanders was dealt with. Well, there are many of you who have uh, similar sentiments about the development in the U.S. and uh, you are seeking to do some permutations with the Ghanaian elections. <laughs> but I'll say, <laughs> let's, let's just uh, keep hold our horses and wait. December 7 is just uh, around the corner rather than say uh, who said what and who didn't say what, and so who will win and who will not win in Ghana. Musa Abato and Kumasi says, um, we are appealing to the judges to be patient as government is working around the clock to solve their grievances. Do you know how long they have been at this? Sofo Yamuza in Kumbungu says that the so-called anti-Trump should stop the unnecessary demonstrations. Once the real polls have spoken, they have got to respect it. Trump might not be liked by many, but his message of hope went down with the electorate. I therefore believe that the unexpected change by Americans will trickle down to Ghana. <laughs> Oliver Bamba in Saliga says, the victory of Donald Trump is a divine one, and the least said about the <laughs> protesters, the better because they, the protesters, cannot love America more than uh, is it Donald Trump? I see. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay. So thank you for all of those uh, messages. A last one from Dr. Atu Edu in Evans, Georgia, in the USA. He says the election of Donald Trump should not send shock waves. Nothing has changed, and the world will understand my point when President Trump assumes office. America is a great country. And racism is not race specific. specific. Americans love their country, and any promise to make the country great resonates. A Democrat, a Democrat, uh, a Democrat.
democratic space was provided for competition and it has generated a winner. We need to support the winner to succeed and he will succeed. People should listen to Trump's victory speech again. Let's move on and in all things, let's give thanks. Let's give thanks. Thank you for your messages now. Yes, uh, Doc. If you can spend just one minute <coughs> on the Trump thing. The last uh, person who I contributed is mm. very optimistic. Right. Mm. But for instance, mm. if you take a subject like climate change, right, the position that President-elect Trump takes, if he continues on that path, is not sustainable for everyone living on this planet. So it's not just about America. Okay. It is also about greenhouse gas emissions and right. all that. He doesn't even believe mm. that it is scientific. Mm. You understand? But we believe that as um, all these institutions begin to put the documentation before him as mm. president and okay. better perspectives are shared, mm. he will get to appreciate the nuances of some right. of Right, so let's keep it at one minute. And, yeah. and one second as well. You know, there's a lot of talk about, um, you know, the divine appointment and, <laughs> you know, how Donald Trump represents the, you know, the Christian conservatives. And Never. I, have a, I have a big problem with that, yeah? And I say, like, okay, you know, there might be certain specific issues mm. where he's played to the gallery and mm. that's being the Christian conservative. But what about other really important values that are equally Christian, mm. like love your neighbor, how right. you treat the downtrodden and mm. the poor and strangers and yeah. welcome peoples in their, your love for humanity, humanity the environment, etc. <laughs> Somehow it's almost like, oh, Donald Trump doesn't have to really talk about those things because, you know, they're not important. They're not any less important. Okay. So, I mean, okay. I, have a, I have a really big problem when people start talking like that. All right. Thank you. Now, uh, shall we move on to, to the court? where Martin Amidu has been trying to assist <coughs> us to get our money back uh, from Alfred Woyungwe. And uh, he, he was in court on Thursday, and he was in court because the Attorney General who had earlier filed a process to seek to examine Woyungwe to know about his means and to be able to retrieve the money, had gotten that process approved by the Supreme Court, and a date was set for the Attorney General to come and take Oyomi through the process. Then before that day, the Attorney General filed um, a notice to discontinue <coughs> with the process, uh, pending whatever may happen, with liberty to reapply. <coughs> the explanation we have had, you know, was that Oyomi's lawyers wrote to the Attorney General, and we read that letter to you, promising to submit himself through a discussion to determine how to go about the payment. And so the Attorney General felt it was unnecessary to still pursue him in court in the manner it had uh, tried to do earlier. So they were in court, and Woyome and the Attorney General were against uh, Martin Amido. And that's what has taken the front pages. Uh, people asking the question, so what really is it? <laughs> you are not doing it, and Amido wants to do it for us, and you say no. How do you explain that? Now, uh, on this note, I start with you, uh, because you are the lawyer here, and I wish that you can assist our listeners to appreciate the issues from a perspective that is devoid of, you know, um, an undue attempt to get political advantage. So start with you. Thank you very much. Um, yes, I come here with a political hat. So something spare me. I mean, I could do you all the lovely uh, articles that say what the Attorney General does and all those. I thought you were a patriot before no, you no, were no, a no, politician. I'm, I'm being patriotic because okay. Martin Hamidou has been a patriot. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm going to talk about what Martin Hamidou mm. experienced in and court. And speak to the facts. Yes. Yeah. Thank mm. you very much. Now, speaking to the facts, the first one is I'm just referring to one of our very <coughs> senior lawyers. I'm sure one of your mentors as well, Kojo Ananankuma. Mm -hmm who says here, I sat in court today, so we are talking about what happened in court, mm. and listened to the Republic of Ghana argue in agreement with Oyume's lawyers that Martin Hamidou, the plaintiff who won us the judgment, should not be allowed to help reveal 
where Woyume's assets are so that the Republic of Ghana can get paid. So this is a lawyer who sat in court and his general feeling was that it was as if Mr. Martin Hamidu was rather the enemy and that the lawyers of the government were agreeing with Williams' lawyers as to how to retrieve the money. This is very sad. Now, let us look at the whole issue um, since you want some legalists. When the Attorney General said she was going to discontinue the case against William, a lot of people were very upset. A lot of people were down. In fact, a lot of people were angry. I, for one, wanted to give them a message of hope. And my message of hope was simple. I said, look, eh, all she has done is to discontinue the case. But the case can be recalled. So don't worry. Because after all, this is not a scenario of uh, what we will call in law, autrefois convict, i.e. the person has been convicted of the offense. And so barring an appeal or serving the sentence at which point you cannot be accused of the same crime again, then there's nothing to worry about. Or by the same token, autrefois convict, which if the person is not convicted or autrefois acquit, that means that the person has been acquitted and the person has therefore, um, unless of course appeal comes in against in terms of the statutory uh, period, then we are looking at a situation where you have been acquitted of the crime and so you cannot be called back on the same matter. Okay. But this is a discontinuance. Mm. So if by the grace of God, Nanado Danko Ekofuado is president of Ghana, there's hope for Ghanaians. And I went even on a tangent to say that. You see, the difficulty with the Attorney General's position what, is What's that, the hope about? Yes, the hope is about the fact that the Attorney General's difficulty is the panacea that there's an attempt to solve in the future with regard to the issue of independent public prosecutor. Because an attorney general, by your brief, you are virtually the executive or the government lawyer. At the same time, too, you are supposed to act in the interest of the citizenry. And this is the kind of thing that somebody like President Rawlings has complained about, saying that the posture of the AG is as if they want to protect the government officials who may have been or may be implicated in this William saga. And when I talk he on that... Say, you, you said, is that what Martin Amidu... President Rawlings. Okay. Martin yes. Amidu has put those in court. Yes. They are facts and that he has thank you. provided evidence wait, to prove. Wait, 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 wait. Now we are going to Martin Amidu. Mm. I talked about Rawlings. So you are talking about Martin Amidu. Okay. So that is the thing that Rawlings said that most of these people have now gone under the cloak of the NDC in terms of positions so that they can be seen as part of the system and try to get protected. The answer to that is the independent public prosecutor who, mm. when appointed, has security of tenure and independence from the executive. Okay, fair enough about the future security for so, these processes. But so, stick to the issue now. No, this and, is the and issue. And let's ask the question yeah. about what they were trying to do in court, for which the report is that the state was trying to stop <coughs> Oyomi, for, uh, was trying to stop Martin Amidu from assisting the citizenry to get their money back. You see? The process was a process of law uh, as, it's provided, a very straightforward as provided in uh, yeah. order 46 of the CI, um, CI 47. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very, this, is, this is just a, a, a simple issue. Let mm. us look at the facts here. Mm. What was Martin Hamidou trying to do? Martin Hamidou was trying to play the role of a prosecutor in a state matter. But the truth of the matter is that our laws would not allow him to do that. You know, if it were in America, for example... A private citizen can prosecute in a state matter. This is an area that is for the AG. So what we can do in Ghana, and the best Martin Amdi could have done, was to sort of watch brief with 
the AG, mm. and to do a simple thing. He said he's trying to help them uncover how to get the money. <laughs> Isn't that what he was, he was saying? Yeah. Yes, let's because look at it. Because he thinks that the Attorney General has not Thank you. Uh, done enough. So the Attorney General should have welcomed him and said, okay, fine. We want him to give us that information so that then we can use it. That when, be... when, when he says that they are complicit, how can well, he be given no, But I'm saying that the Attorney General, if, that's what I'm saying. And I'm very happy you have asked this question. In fact, it's the best question all night. That, and that's why, you see, when we are talking this thing, we say law, law. We don't come and sit here and do only the law, law. There's political, political under. I'm ready for the politics. You understand? No, it's not about... I'm very no, ready no, no. for the politics. No, you can be ready. That's not the point. And I'm I saying... Came also for the politics. You are the one, are the one speaking yeah. now, so go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what I'm saying is that this matter looks as if it's law. But underneath it, this one they say there's something in the soup. Mm. As Egbert Fable likes to say. No, but you have, like just said, you have just said something. Yes. You have said that what Martin is trying to do, mm -hmm. it doesn't look to you like he is empowered under law to do. What? No, no, no. Hold on. What Martin is trying to do, mm. under the law, we all know that he cannot be the one to prosecute the case. Because we all know that, look, when it comes to uh, being a private lawyer, so I summarized States, you correctly. You, thank you. You're saying he cannot be doing that thing. Thank you. No, no. But what I'm saying is that you know also about watching brief. Mm. You know sometimes where there's a case, the state is doing it. You realize that the state's legal team is not that strong. But you, something, you want to help your client. But you cannot lead in that prosecution. So what do you do? You watch brief. You even give them all the information sometimes for them to use. So what I expect to see from the attorney general is, a kind of, oh, my lord, we want to work with Mr. Marty Hamidou. Can he give us this information? If I, oh, my lord, yes, we want to hear what he has to say. Yes, and then by virtue of the watching brief angle, he's allowed to say what he wants to say to the court, but the person who will go ahead and make it happen is the AG. Okay, so from where you sit and having read what has transpired so far, <coughs> it is okay for Martin Hamidou to go to the court to insist that he wants to continue with what the Attorney General started, despite the attempts by Woyome to pay? No. You see, the attempts by Woyome to pay, to me, are very, very minuscule. Why? The offer of the four million, after four years, okay, this Woyome thing started from about 2012. We are looking at average of one million. The judgment poultry. was in 2014, Well, 2014, July. so if you want to even make it two years, poultry, two million a year, whatever. We all know when you, Matt, uh, uh, something, I've done a, a case recently with one of your, uh, 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 I would say seniors, but your colleagues, Charles Wellness, where we looked at Bank of Ghana index to look at the value of the money at the time in terms of dollar for the client to be paid. Because if we're going to look at it in terms of CD now, they were going to lose. Right or wrong? Isn't that what we always do? Why is it that when it comes to the William money that he took at a time where the 51 million in terms of dollars was worth about 25 million dollars because of one to two. Mm. But today, he's not only paying a lower rate, but he's also paying in this paltry 4 million, 4 million, 4 million, up to when? Up to how many years? Uh, uh, how, how many years? How many years has he been given again? He's hoping to finish in 2017. 20 uh, or is it? No, yeah. no, no. More, more. Um, you, you go on. Yes. Go on. I'll, I'll give you. I'll How give long is he bit. going to pay? And all of that. Uh, I we think it's uh, in 2019 or Yes, so. we all know yeah. the devaluation of the money by that time. So we are not getting our money's worth. Mm. <clears throat> what I would want to use in simple terms <coughs> as value for money mm. is not being used here. So the simple thing is look, I would just say that the cut again is out of the bag. And all the threats that Mr. William has been issuing, and these are not veiled threats, which were not issued by me or you. Issued by Mr. William and his lawyers. He says if they push him too much, that's the NDC government and attorney general's department, mm. who he has already accused that they themselves, he gave them some of the money in whatever capacity, that's a different issue. He went further to say that if they push him, he's going to reveal certain things about the payment. Now, Ghanaians, ask this question. <coughs> what is it that Mr. William is saying he has under his sleeve that he is likely to reveal, which to me, makes the government so scared that when they even go to court, they seem to rather take his side against Martin Hamidou. And worst of all, what is the solution to the problem? So, Ghanians, so you're saying you that, you're saying that you, take it, you take it as a fact 
that the allegations by Martin Amidu are correct. Ah, but what, that, that there what was, you there was threat as? of blackmail. What do you take it as? I'm, I'm asking and you there because are no he has not provided Amidou. you they any proof. by Woyome. Why are mm. you mixing the two? Mm. Is Woyome making the threat to not Martin Amidou? I Martin said, Amidou is telling us that that is the threat Woyome has made. Is, Martin Amidou is not telling us that. Martin Amidou, uh, Woyome made those threats. When? Have you read it? No, I have not read Woyome make any such direction. Oh, really? No, I have not. Uh, Where? Ask, ask. Oh, you won't even check. Check my joy online. Right now. I'm, I'm Woyome aware. threats I'm is a... check. Mm. <laughs> Every Ghanaian listening to this is aware. And not just William, <coughs> even his lawyers, why have you got that smile on this? Even his lawyers, his lawyers, have said that they will <laughs> reveal certain things if they push them. So, Ghanaians, the answer is simple. If you want your William money back, one, if you want the value for money back, you need to look at people who are saying that, one, we are going to bring independent public prosecutors, Two, okay. will prosecute you in a way mm. that is not in the interest okay. of Mr. Woyoma and his lawyers, but in the interest of Ghana collecting their money back. Mm. This thing has been okay. a charade. Thank you. Let Thank me you. just land on this last point. Mm. It has gone back and forth. The value is still the same. We are not getting the value of what we wanted. Mm. This matter will be dealt with in its entirety mm. under an Ekufuado government. Jesus okay, Christ. let's, 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 <laughs> let's, let's me hear from Amani now. Something. Uh, and, and please, I want you to stick to the issue. Something. Yeah. No, no, I've seen can that. I I've seen that you already paraded a number of things. Can you I want to go back know, into history. Can I please know the length of time? Oh, I he's talking about 10 minutes. So you don't have, you don't have any more than well. that. Great. Mm. So I'll speak for 10 minutes. When I'm starting, let me know. I will apportion it and don't restrict me. Because he ended by saying that under an Akufuado government. <laughs> okay? Mm. I came prepared for your flag bearer and the MPP. Speak to the facts of this matter, please. This oh, is yes, not, I also have a response this, for that, so this, you should come. This is not a matter that under normal Mr. circumstances Baganda. you should be politicizing. Ah, this is not politics. Okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. Please, allow him. I oh, have, he, he I have no, allow me. Twice. I didn't interrupt yeah. you. I have oh, here in yeah. my hand a letter written by your flag bearer and just 21st of October 2016, a judgment on that decision was delivered by His Lordship Eric K. Balfour. I hear the K is J. This Something, is please note the date. The, the final yeah. words, please don't interrupt oh, me. I'm just noting. The final words of the judge. On the whole, the plaintiff who bore the burden of proof at the end of the trial, his claim remained unproved and unpersuasive. His claim could not hold water, whilst the evidence of the defendants showed how plaintiff had attempted to hoodwink them to make a further payment. In conclusion, plaintiff's claim is dismissed in its entirety. I will exercise my discretion and award cost of blah, blah, blah in favor mm. of the defendants. Please go over the title this, of this case again. This is the matter involving Great Cape Company. Mm -hmm. In no, which... No, no, I want the title. The title mm. is in the High Court of Justice Heard at blah, 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 Commercial Division Friday, 23rd, before his lordship. And this is you, so don't take it away from my 10 minutes. The High Court suit... <laughs> Number BPC stroke 11 stroke 15. Great Cape Company Limited, plaintiff versus Attorney General and Minister for Justice. And the second defendant is Ministry of Finance. Okay. I hope you are not going to take this out of my time. When Nana Kufuadu was Attorney General, you want us to believe that he will be able to fight judgment debts. Yes. He will be able to contest every case and not settle. Nanda Kufuadu wrote this letter in 2001. And even when he was in opposition in 2011, he was still pay, writing to urge that government pays. The first letter reads, and the reference number is ILD stroke SCR stroke 002. The Minister of Finance in 2001. Supplementary claims by the Great Cape Company, which the judgment is saying it was an attempt to hoodwink. It will be recalled that upon the recommendations of my predecessor in office, 
in his letter, blah, blah, dated 8 May 1997, copy of which is attached, your ministry paid to the Great Cape Company of Switzerland an amount of intended to be the final settlement of a case involving a breach of contractual obligations of the government. Subsequently, upon a petition, not even a judgment, upon a petition by the company, our office looked at the case again and upheld the representation of the company. Petition by the company, of the company to the effect that interest due them should have been computed to the time of payment in 1998 and not to 1987. Go into the judgment and you check what <coughs> Justice Chaba for wrote about this, which was the time the original calculation was due. The mistake occurred because when the matter came up after 1997, the company did not submit all the data which were subsequently incorporated in their letter of 6 September 1999. The company acting through its solicitors, it goes on and on, and then says that accordingly, I recommend the payment of the difference between the 1987 figure and that of the 1998. Signed, Nana Akufu Ado, Attorney General. He gets into a position three years on, 2011. They try to solicit his support to validate this document. Still to pursue the money from the Mills administration. Nana Kufuado writes from opposition. Letter and signature authentication appeal for assistance to Dr. Nat Tando. This is to acknowledge receipt of your letter of 20th September 2011, requesting my assistance in the settlement of government's long-standing indebtedness to Great Cape Company of Switzerland. Kufuado is writing, government's long-standing indebtedness. Mm. This judgment says that indebtedness was an attempt to hoodwink. Can I can I tell you something briefly? I can I tell you yes, something briefly? Sure, sure. That I take the respective view. Yeah. That this may be one of the reasons the president says his message is being blocked. We're speaking to a specific issue. He's spoken about his view on the Woyomi matter. <laughs> you are being asked to tell the side of the government. Something. And Samson, you are going to Samson, I won't take this an old and issue about Akufuado. Samson, it's not an old issue at all. This is a judgment that has come up. OK, please finish. Again, finish. Yeah. great. Mm -hmm. this, this is a matter that has come up. Mm. The interest that Newsfire has in judgment debt, isn't it surprising that this judgment was not, has never even been discussed here? Let me continue. He says, I'm somewhat disturbed by its content, which have led to the unusual request contained in the letter. It is disconcerting to find that public record keeping has fallen into such straits that the files on this matter cannot be found either in the Ministry of Justice or in the Ministry of Finance. Be that as it may, it will be unconscionable, this is the Kufuado mm -hmm. writing, it will be unconscionable on the part of government if its own poor record keeping is used to defeat legitimate claims of its accreditors. What he describes as legitimate claims today has been described by the court as an attempt to hoodwink. I'm now coming to the relevance of this. Compare and contrast our current Attorney General, Marietta Birapia Opong, and Nana Akufuado as an Attorney General. When Marietta relied on letters such as this, she didn't sit. She went further, looked and looked and looked and looked, and subsequently found additional documents to block this case that Great Cape had taken to court. Open to the Green Book for uh, those of you who have it, right from page 154 all the way <laughs> to page 159. And you will check the potential judgment dead cases that this government, Attorney General, has fought and we have been successful. And since he mentioned Lawyer A. Sankoma's name, put a phone call to Lawyer A. Sankoma and check the kind of fight that this government, the AG's department, exerted in the Barkan case in which his firm was involved, that a claim of about 200 million US dollars dropped all the way to 12 million. And even as we speak now, government has not paid that money. I now come to Martin Amidu. My brother, let your producer put Martin Amidu on the line. Because I'm going to refer to him as having lied. Do it quickly, to the your time Court. is running out. There, there are letters you are referred to, Martin, are referred to so many times on this platform Martin, already. Martin Amidu mm. has told lies to the Supreme Court of the Republic of Ghana. You are a lawyer. My good brother and friend is a lawyer. 
If someone tells lies under oath, perjury. how do you call it? Perjury. perjury. Who determines that one has told lies? Exactly. Great. Did, do you have Matiami Du's documentation before the court here? Matiami Du, in paragraph 10, okay, claimed that the AG and her former firm represented Woyumi. Is that not the case? Mm, he's wrong. He's completely wrong. See, si, see. Si. And I'll cite three cases where Matiamidu si, told si. a big lie, si, and he's si. a damn big si. liar. No, don't don't cut me short. Damn <coughs> wait, big wait. liar. Oh, he's hold wrong. on, hold on, hold on. Let, hold let on, me give hold you the hold three on, hold instances. On, hold on. I said hold on. When I said he's wrong, I didn't end there. He's wrong if he says that it is the attorney general now who personally handled those cases in which Wuyumi had interest. But he's not wrong. Wait, wait, hold on, let me, let me. Huh? He's not wrong. If he says that the, the attorney general's firm mm -hmm. or former law firm mm -hmm. had handled cases mm -hmm. in which Wuyumi had some connection. Wait, in that case, you can he, list the three cases. He's, wrong. Yeah. he's not wrong. He's because, not wrong. because her former firm was always on the opposite side. And I list them. Cases in which he's involved or connected. <laughs> That's what I said. Always on the opposite side. How do you cite it? Doesn't change, it doesn't change it the fact that the firm. So let viewers, let listeners know here and now that you are saying, Matiami Du is not saying that a former firm represented Woyumi. In fact, in all those cases, all, we know it was no, Tony Lita who handled them, not yes, the, the not Attorney General. About, so but you I'm move talking on about, quickly. No, I won't, I won't. I'm talking about where her former firm stood. One, Austro Invest Management Limited versus Alfred Agwesi Wolomi. Sealed number AC 96 ah. 2012. Her firm represented Austro Invest and not Alfred Agwesi Wolomi. Second, Alfred Agbesi Woyomi versus Raymond Acha. Her firm represented Raymond Acha and not Alfred Agbesi Woyomi. Ray the Smith. Third one, Ray Smith versus Alfred Agbesi Woyomi. Her firm represented Ray Smith and not Alfred Agbesi Woyomi. And I said, I'm in happy. all those cases, it was Tony Lita who was handling them. It was not even the that attorney general. That is even additional. Well, yeah. Thank you for that. That is even additional. But this is very clear that mm -hmm. her firm never represented Alfred Agbesi Williams. Okay, thank you. The second lie. Thank you. The thank second you. lie. Is time the mm -hmm. second lie yeah. is also about this thing about Nekwe Tete. And I have pleaded with you that your producer should put Matiami Du on the line. Nekwe Tete. Is he not aware, or could he not have known, that on the 11th day of December 2015, a disciplinary committee chaired by no mean a person like Justice Mrs. Rose Owusu, a retired Supreme Court judge, was inaugurated by the Legal Service Board in accordance with the Legal Service Regulation 2014 LI 2210 to conduct a disciplinary inquiry into the matter involving Mr. Samuel Nekwe Yet, he presents this attorney general as if she's trying to shield Nekwe Tete. Last but not the least on his lives, without providing any shred of evidence, proceeds to say that it was the president <coughs> who intervened in terms of the attorney general's mm. department. Okay, okay, this thank continuing you. Continuing this matter. Thank you. And let me add that. No, 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 it's okay. What thank people you. deliberately take out of even her discontinuation document is the fact that she also added with liberty to reapply. Mm, and I'm not sure anybody has taken it well, out. Uh, thank you. Now, Samson, just one minute. No, hold on. Oh, hold I on. asked for that because I will interrupt. And I asked Matt, you should come that on. Okay, one okay, do the one hey, minute. Do the one, one minute. minute. Now, yeah. with the issue concerning the Che Bafour case in 2016, Nana Kufuado in his letters in 2001 mm. and 2011. I'm just becoming aware yes. of that case. I yeah, never yes. knew about I, it. I, I, he just he mentioned that on a Senpai yesterday. I'll leave a copy. Okay. And he was going on a propaganda spree on that. And okay, that's go, why go I wanted to. Yes. Yeah. Mm. The opinion in 1998 was from the Attorney General of the NDC at the time, the government. 
which was Obeda Samoa. <laughs> Nanado Danko Ekufuadu said, there's already an opinion by my predecessor that we should pay this people. So please, I want to respect that opinion. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. You don't have a wait, name. wait. You see, you can't sit here and make all this propaganda. <laughs> you for an, a minute. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. So, Nana Ekufuadu based it on that. Then later, Great Cape, because they still were not getting them, because remember MPP time, mm. they still didn't pay them. Okay. NDC, they still didn't, they took it to court again. Then a subsequent judge says that this matter, in his opinion, is what? Trying to hoodwink, it does not hold water. How can you hold Nana Ekufuadu accountable for a judgment in 2016, for a comment in 2011, based on an opinion in 1998? Based on it what is opinion? only somebody who doesn't understand this law. Is, this is one who the But opinion is from Nana. Read. Uh, you are read, lawyer, you know what opinions mean. Oh, said. please, please, yeah. please. Let me okay. talk. When you talk, I you're, you're done with your minute. Yeah, ten seconds. You're done with your minute. You're done with your minute. Just ten seconds to finish. What the judge said. You're done with your minute. What I'm saying to Ghanaians is that, in conclusion. The propaganda that <laughs> a court case in 2016 can affect what Nanado Dankwa Ekufuadu opined in 2011 regarding an opinion in 1998 by Obela Samoa. What, what opinion? What opinion? Was he a That's judgment dead contractor? That's all I want to say. Mm. So you can go on now. Was okay. Ekufuadu a judgment dead contractor? Okay. Okay. They want to find him corrupt. Okay. 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 Are you tomorrow. not interested in what the judge said about Obela Samoa? But you have read that oh, Obela no, Samoa approving, approving the amount no, that to be no, paid. No, no, that's not approved. Listen, it's not listen, 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 he is misquoting what Obela Samoa is said to have authored. Ah, the judge is saying that, in fact, there is nowhere in any of the documents authored by Dr. Obeda Samoa, mm -hmm. especially Exhibit W, that plaintiff alludes to that Dr. Obeda Samoa admitted of any continuing liability of the government mm. to the plaintiff thank after you. payment you can, you can, you can of 937,000 US dollars. Yeah, thank you, thank this you, is thank the you. reality. Uh -huh. Thank you. No, no. Do for a judgment that sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Guys, guys. We will work. No, 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 no. We will retrieve no. all the please, money. Please, please, please. Please. But let's say oh, you behave yourself. You guys, you guys ought to stop. Yes. You guys ought to stop. Let's let's have a setting order of uh, proceeding with the program. Thank you. Now, um, obviously, um, I hope that we don't get there because that's where it's going to. And I see Kweku opening documents. That's also going to take us far back into Grape Cape matters. These are matters we have dealt with extensively on this platform. And uh, Omani brings a judgment that he hasn't shared with anybody and yet accuses us of not but being it's responsible. A judgment. It's um, a judgment. It's a judgment. You, you have you not shown it to anybody. You should be so interested in it. If why I should I be interested? It, if I, I should sit here and go searching in your, the court, which your judgment has been given? judgment dead oh, please, please stop that. With your interest in yes, judgment stop dead the cases. propaganda. Okay, it's okay. You should have been interested in this. He raised it, that's why. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I heard my brother Omani yesterday on Asempa. Okay. And I have to be honest, I also didn't know about the judgment. Because mm. I had no idea that that case had gone to court. I am completely unaware. Yeah. We have because, the cases. Oh. But because he said so, mm. I last night also procured a copy okay. of the judgment. Okay. I have a copy here. And I haven't been able to read it extensively. This 2016, when, when, is, when was it delivered? What October 21. Yeah, October. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, 21st October. of October. Yes. Okay. October okay. 21. Yes, Goku, so Very fresh. Mm. But I read all. Oh, so, money. Let somebody to talk. So. Uh, he's pushed us in that direction, and I can see you are seeking to guide us not to go in that direction. Uh, you know, I wonder what maybe there. not to go there too much over the current issue that we are discussing. Yes, I wonder what okay. I wonder yeah. what the motive is really. Can I please? I have a feeling no, 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 no. Can I please? No, 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 no. Stop, stop. No. Go ahead. We we continue. continue. Yes, no, continue. No, no, I do not allow you. I do not allow you. He he is in charge. Go on. Go on. No, he's, I defer to the Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. It looks as if Akufuadu is the target. Because of what Mike said. No, but yesterday Mike wasn't there yeah, because when you were Mike making said. your case. Don't import. You are already brought this. I knew where you were going. That's why. This is not assembled. Dr. Maniboma, please. Thank you. And you know what? It, is, it depends on the level of information available to an AG, mm. an attorney general, mm. in, when he's taking a decision. What I find striking is that this attorney general, before she came to the conclusion that Great 
Cape has no case and so decided to fight the case in court. Don't forget, it's the Great Cape that went to court, not the yeah. Attorney General. Okay. This Attorney General, on the 8th of July 2014, wrote a letter no different from what Nana Kufado wrote. Same letter, yeah, of, oh. virtually. No, but that proves something. That's the point. I have letters here from Solicitor General, State Attorneys, between 20, 2010 to 20, 2015, all on the same wavelength like the Akufuado letter, including July 8, 2014, here, from the present Attorney General, that virtually says the same thing Akufuado was saying. And so, says here, considering the foregoing, it, it is my opinion that the issue set above have been resolved by documents furnished on this office and the confirmation by GMPA that some were same were retrieved from the archives. These are letters from documents that had come from Ghana National Procurement Authority. On the basis of the above, and considering the fact that the Minister of Finance has already made part payment of the claim, I advise the Minister of Finance makes good its debt to Great Cape Company. Continue on your cooperation in this regard. Marita Brew appear upon Mrs. Attorney General and Minister. So of she, she writes this in 2015 or 2014, 8 July. Yes, but now, in 2016 no, she I'm goes coming. to court. No, 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 yeah. no, you are not. Money, money, don't you do are not getting work. my drift. Okay. I am saying. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening to you. That consistently, mm. apart from Akufuado, mm. state attorneys, including solicitor generals, have all those letters right, here right. between 2011 to 2014 or relying on the documentation and records. Mm. Don't forget, quite a lot of the records on Great Cape were missing. Mm. The, the judgment, he mentioned it. Yes, missing. Yeah. And Nanado's letter, also he points to the fact. Mm. So all of them, including this attorney general, recommended payment. I'm not sure my brother is getting my drink. Go ahead, you move on, move on. Move on. Then, ignore, ignore everybody. In move November, on, on. on 20th November, mm -hmm. 2014, the same Attorney General writes this letter that is, amounts to a repeal of a July 8th, 2014 letter. Mm. Because, well, you are talking thoroughness. Mm. You are talking thoroughness. And you see, that's why I said the motive. I asked for the motive. And the, if the motive is not because you are targeting an adwa, mm. I'm sure you will be asking yourself the same question of thoroughness relative to what happened in the Wyoming case, which is the substantive matter we are dealing with. He, we he had an attorney me, general. He points me to a portion of yeah. this uh, mm -hmm. judgment mm -hmm. in which the judge says, it looks like this letter you are reading from the current attorney general, the judge says the conclusions that she came to cannot be correct. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So it's consistent that at the time she came to this conclusion, mm -hmm. that Nanado had come in 2001, it was not correct. Well, All of them were in the same okay. category. So I needed you to proceed because I was asking the and question, if the coming. same attorney general makes a conclusion that is in favor or for the same as atten uh, um, Nanado had done, and yet she goes to court and wins such a victory. No, no, no. She, 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 somebody no, went to court. court. Somebody goes to court and she still manages the to court, save. The court was triggered mm. because she wrote this 20th November 2014 that, letter. Okay, okay. That's saying that in view of new information mm. that had come to her notice, okay. she now believed that this, if she didn't even refer to this letter, okay. but she now believes that the claim, the claim is not legitimate. All right. And so the Ministry of Finance should not pay. What I'm trying to establish is you cannot then read into Nanado's letter the kind of mischief you are reading into in terms of his level of competence. You can't do that. Can't. And no, I'm no, saying that if sorry, you want sorry. to do that, mm. you might as well uh, ask other questions. But you see, it is diversionary. Mm. This matter will be dealt with subsequently. Mm. I haven't read the full right. judgment. Let's, let's but, all find time and read yes, it. Yes, but I wanted mm. to prove the point okay. that if in the absence of sufficient information, an attorney general can come to the conclusion Nanado came to. Just In any right. case, don't forget, even that payment was not effected okay. under the Kufu administration. Mm. The letter... That's why they were chasing it. Yes, that's why they were chasing it. And when they came, letters from the Minister of Finance, letters from the Solicitor General, letters from the AG mm. department, including this AG, all were going along the same wavelength.
Okay. Now, now, now let's go. Let's let's it. move on. Let's move on to the now way now everyone quickly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then, the and then also, if you look at right, the right, right, even the even the Woyomi case, even the Woyomi case, you discover what Betty Moore did later. Sorry, sorry, guys, stop this, stop this. What she discovered later was that initially she felt. <laughs> she didn't have a case. Yeah, and yeah, then later I, she went to the court to say that I have gathered information. Yes. That's what uh, yeah, Mrs. See, Apio uh, did. And, and William May's case was triggered by a petition anyway. Right. Okay, so move Same on to, with what move on to what, what uh, Martin Amidu saw to do. Let me finish. And mm. then don't forget that the court, the high court, in ruling in favor of Woyome, even gave a, 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 a timetable. Mm. You put the money in three tranches in and three say tranches. pay one, don't uh -huh. pay the rest so of the So we are two. dealing with so a situation where even a court order was mm. ignored by an AG. Okay. That one means nothing. That AG, that former AG, is one of the party top executives. The de former deputy attorney general is the first deputy speaker of parliament. We're talking here. But, but you see, that's why I asked... administration, you know oh. that. Oh, um, I was vice does it mean, I mean are we looking at the president as an individual? Mm. I'm looking at the, the party. State. The state. Yes, but you see, we need, we need a bit of time to be able to, to, to deal with the other issues. To be honest, so, so, no, so no, no, the, no. Why is Omani Omani? Okay, Omani, Omani, Omani. Why? I want to stop. Stop, stop. I will not read any further. I will get a copy and I read for myself. It's interesting that you don't have a copy. Oh, no. Okay, proceed, proceed. Yes. Now, let's deal with Wyoming. The case that is before us, this matter, this mischief my brother is mischief. pushing, mm. will be cured and cured appropriately very soon. It's not mischief at all. There's mischief in the way you are using the documents. I am telling it's you there's mischief. It's and it's true. only because... Well, can we abandon that and go to Woyo, uh, Woyomi and uh, Martin Amidu and the AG in the Supreme yeah. Court yeah. on like Thursday? You see, more. nanophobia is worrying some people. Oh. They better be careful. <laughs> Focus. Is it a geriatric this disease? Is, <laughs> <laughs> now let's deal with William. <laughs> See, I'm not a lawyer. And I've done some little reading, including the research material that you kindly sent to us, mm. especially the court report. I thought it was good. I am praying seriously, even though when I look at the face of the law, I have a funny feeling there may be a challenge for Martin. Uh, in what is his locus in terms of being judgment creditor? I'm having a little problem. And having read the so called order, rule one, one of uh, order 47, is it? 46, yes. 46. Mm. <clears throat> having read it, it's, it's based on what you gave to us as research material. If the court were to think conventionally, <laughs> traditionally, we may have a difficulty there. That worries me. I have to be honest with you. For me, the key thing in all this matter was the oral examination, mm. especially the one that concerns how he spent the money, within or without, or both. It's critical. Mm. And that is the context within which I saw the AG's notice of discontinuance. I thought it was an attempt to kill that possibility. That whole thing from mm. happening. Uh, number, number one, practically from where you look at it, and it's good that you, you, you don't look at it from a perspective of a, a lawyer so trained. Um, practically, how do you feel if he got his prayer answered? Martin? And yes, he got his prayer answered. How will he be able to chase um, Wemi for the money? How exactly will uh, he Before do the chase... There will be answers provided to the questions mm -hmm. that are posed right. in the court of law. Mm. And the possibility of perjury and all those things are there. Don't forget, mm. 51 million Ghana cities was given to you by the state of Ghana. Now we all know illegally. How did you spend that money? Give us evidence of how you invested these monies. You must give some evidence to that effect. Mm. That evidence will be cross-examined to see if it makes sense. I know, you see, the AG, if you read the report, they've done, uh, initiated some Ganeshi proceedings, they've taken some monies, but when I read the monies, when I see the monies, I feel sick. Small, 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 small amounts. 
Did you read them? Yes, I, I've, I've read them. And I have them here, yes. uh, $95 mm. here, $6,000 here, one mm. thousand. I feel so sick. But, but doesn't, oh, I'm that, not, I'm not really doesn't that suggest to you that it is not correct for anybody to suggest that they have been sleeping on exactly. their job oh. and that they have not been working? Oh, man, please. I, I haven't suggested the, that. No, have I? That, that's the thing in the public, the, the general discussion is that they've not been working. And that's why Amidu says he wants to do this yeah, job. People think too little, too late. People think not much has been done. The seriousness that people expected, people don't see. Mm. That is it. They may be right, they may be wrong. But let's be honest. If you are told that this gentleman says, I will pay four million mm. now. You see, it's revolting. It's repugnant. <laughs> you, you, get, you get irritated. I'm telling you, I'm speaking here as a Ghanaian. Mm. You get angry. So, well, but that's not a court of law. We're here, it's a court of public opinion. He would have been found guilty long ago, mm. long, long ago. Would have put him out there and stripped him naked. But we're talking here law. So we all have to be careful and go step by step. But you see, that's my view. Is the Supreme Court, and you are the lawyer, in fact, two lawyers here, does the Supreme Court have the power to do the oral examinations on its own? At the Martin one, I'm beginning to think it will take an extraordinary decision <laughs> by the Supreme Court to allow him to do what he wants to do. I'll be happy if it happens. The I'll court may do it if it feels that, for example, he agrees with Martin Amidu. Other than that, the, the, the creditor, mm -hmm. who is the state, yes. and represented by the Attorney General, says that this is a man I have chased for a very long time. And they deposed to a litany of efforts yes. at trying to retrieve the money. Yes. They've successfully garnished about uh, four different bank accounts, out of which, as you say, the amounts in them Peanuts. were insignificant. Peanuts. Then they proceeded to um, sort of attach his properties. Now, there are individuals and entities like UT Bank who have come to say the property doesn't belong to him. Yes. Um, there's a query. They went to attach the query. They, some uh, a, a company came to say it doesn't belong to yes. him, so or we have an interest in it, and all of that stops that process. So he suddenly and now the man comes to say, I want to pay. Let's the, sit down and structure a payment. The man who took our 51 million Ghana CDs illegally is suddenly a man of straw. <laughs> That's the kind of picture being painted out there. Mm. He has nothing. That is why I thought, at least, if for nothing at all, mm. the oral examination, okay. particularly relative to how he spent those that amount all right. okay. within a time frame, Thank you. Yeah. will be mm. actually therapeutic. Mm. Okay. Even if it won't bring the final solution. Right, right, right. Um, Kuku, yes, oh, thank, you. thank you. Kuku, um, I, I intentionally uh, allow you to overdo your time a oh, bit I'm because sorry. of I the way, <laughs> the way um, <laughs> Omane. And uh, no, I did my really is, 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 <laughs> I gave you extra because of what you asked. <laughs> but now, no, did what? now, but uh -huh. my last question yeah. is this: um, Yes, yes. Uh, the last question I want to ask you is that um, the public seems to have a lot of faith in Martin Amidu. Yes, <coughs> for good reason because yeah. he went to procure this judgment yeah. for the state. Yeah. Other than that, we may not have been chasing after any money at all. Yeah. Now he got this money that for the state. Money. Sorry, sorry, of that course. is true. That's it's true. There was no any effort to, to, to go at him. It's incontestable. Sorry. Martin um, Amidu oh. was sorry. instructed oh. by sorry. the High Court. Is the High Court is the high court. Court. incontestable. The High Court was instructed the high by the High Court. The High Court was instructed by the High Court. The High Court ordered that the state should pay him only the first tranche, 17 million. We paid him all the three tranches in full. Your anger yes. is not going no. to turn the truth. You, no, you see, your so anger is, is not going to turn the truth. I'm not angry. angry. The I just truth. want you to stop the, the unnecessary truth. interference. It doesn't, unnecessary. it doesn't help. I won't sit here and allow you to turn the truth upside down. Martin Amidu was instructed by the late president. You mean the case he went to Supreme Court to Please, 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 was please, 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 was please, 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 Commercial court, yes, which was after but that's different from the Supreme realization court. later. He was yes. attorney. Later, when, when it was too late, he was that we had paid by way of a mistake. 
So go to the yes. uh, commercial court and get that. And, and do what? Supreme Court. Go to commercial court and, and do what? And fight that case. Until the Great. final determination. So the, the initiative. Supreme Court was the in private initiative. Yes. But thank don't, you. But don't, exactly. don't, oh. don't present oh. it. You cannot oh. change that fact. Don't don't you cannot change, you can that, also fact. Not change yeah. the fact. All you wanted to do was that. Okay. You should not leave this show for you to host. Please. If you would, why not? But I won't allow you. No, I don't think I won't allow you. No, Omani, you are not. Listen, listen, listen. It's not. No, I am not You are not really normal. What you are Martin saying is not the truth. You are, you are wrong. You Martin Amidu was first I, I instructed know, I know by the facts. I know the facts as a judge. You can't know the facts as the other sorry. than I do. Sorry, sorry. So Martin how? Amidu, I'm, I'm not an ignorant judge. You don't know you it that. better than I do. Samson, the mere fact of the mere fact that you have never discussed this great great issue right here, but we didn't know. Come on, you will not know. I knew what you were doing. You will not know. Okay, okay. You will not know. Let's have a discussion. No, I'm used to this. This. You are not used to it. I'm used to it. Money. Let's there be some fairness here. Okay. No. Oh, Let's there okay. be some sincerity. Matthew Amidu has lied at least three times. You are listen, not listen, interested listen, in money. putting him on air. Listen, listen I'm here. saying put Matthew Amidu on air. Call him now. Omani, if you will not stick to the rules, you walk out of this studio. My brother. Omani, stop. I think you are brother, stop I'm what you're doing. Stop what you're I, doing. No. no. Just I, stop it. No. Yes. No. But you are please, being please, you are being unfair. Let's see some sincerity here. No, no, no. Let's see some fairness here. Here, here. I don't know what the fairness and sincerity is about. I don't know what you don't present Matthew as a matter. matter. I'm not one of those ignorant people who uh, present anybody as anybody. Please Omani. don't do that. You you this is the question. This is the question. Oh, come on. This is the question. Omani. Now I was asking you the question that in the way a, a, a setting level of the generality of the public appear to uphold Martin Amidu as telling the truth. When he says things like, and I, I have already said that his claims about the blackmail are unproven. He hasn't proved it. He spoke to us here last week. He only sought to say a rationalization that since the attorney general is the lawyer for the president, so to speak, she cannot go to court without the instructions of the president. And if he's going, she's going to court, she's going on the instructions of the president. But that did not answer the question of the allegation of blackmail. Now, my question again is, Martin Amidu, that we seem to put a lot of faith in, has gone to the court claiming that this attorney general is complicit because she has handled cases in for uh, Wyoming in which which makes her put her in a position where she cannot retrieve this debt there are these three cases that you mentioned last week somebody made a mistake yeah. and said she was and you said it wasn't yeah. Austro Invest Management Limited versus yes. Alfred Agbesi Wyoming <coughs> her, her former firm was on the other side not for Wyoming Alfred Agbesi Wyoming versus Raymond Archer her firm was against uh, Wyoming. Ray Smith versus Alfred Agbesi Wyoming. Her firm was for the other party, not Wyoming. And in this case, it was actually her partner in the firm, um, uh, Tony Leta, who was handling this case, <coughs> not this attorney general. Yeah, but on the, the basis firm. of this, yes, on the basis of this, do you want, how much faith do you put in Martin Amidu in the claims that he makes? Well, I have absolute faith in Martin Armido in what he does. That's why that he gets oh, this wrong. No, no, he didn't get this wrong. You've truncated my submission. Okay. Is he a perfect human being? He's not. I wouldn't make those allegations even in a court document mm. unless I'm holding the proof. Okay. And it's so difficult to actually say that this is a black male mm. and prove it. We all know that. Mm. So I think that was indiscreet. That was a bit incautious, if I can use that word. Mm. So that's it. But he's, he's, he's a patriot. He, his pluses are bigger okay. than the minuses. That's it. None of us sitting here is perfect. Mm. And we all make mistakes. And some could be grave. To accuse a president of blackmailing mm. is grave offense, allegation. I wouldn't make it, even if I believe it. The only time I'll make it is if I can substantiate it. Mm. If I can't substantiate it, I won't make it. But I realize that in court, the report you give us, mm -hmm. the state is asking for that to be expunged. Right. They are not suggesting putting him to strict proof. Tell me if it's in law the same. Because I was thinking, if by, you want... By our rules in court, uh -huh. when what? someone makes certain claims on, on affidavit, yes. you are entitled to ask the court 
to expunge them. And then? Because they are scurrilous. No, so because ex expunge they, and then what? You expunge them so they don't form part of it the means evidence. It's no longer an issue. Dead. Right, right. So it means you cannot subject him to strict proof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Am I right? As earlier claimed by people like uh -huh. Bwama, that he'll be yeah. So that's the point I'm making. That you see, here we are. The state itself is saying expunge. Mm -hmm. They are not saying we want to put him to strict proof mm -hmm. in this court of law, where them the element of perjury okay. could come in. Is that not so? Right. They leave the case unresolved, mm -hmm. and in the court of public opinion, that kind of allegation, however unsubstantiated, is not even in the interest of the president. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that for once the state will go to the level of saying we <coughs> want to subject him to strict proof on this matter. Okay. And I agree All right, with now, you. now, now, That's what they should um, um, now, Dr. <laughs> Jemima, Jemima, uh, no, no. Finally. Here. Uh, I'm left the, shaking my head. Yes. <laughs> That's all. Here, here is um, to demonstrate that he really wants to pay. That's how the Attorney General feels. And that's why they went to discontinue. Too much faith in that. Um, mm. To demonstrate that he really wants to pay, here is a copy of the check for four million that he issued, an access bank uh, check, uh, duly receipted by the states. And then here is a letter that his lawyer writes and tells the attorney general that, look, he intends to pay five hundred um, five million every month, starting from April 2017, and it will end by the 31st of March 2019. Do you think that they ought to be considering this rather than continuing to pursue him in court? <coughs> Isn't it so nice to be given money illegally? <laughs> then you decide <laughs> at your leisure when you will pay it back. I mean, you are chasing him, you can't find you know, his I've money. I said on this platform mm. previously, and I'll be consistent, that I'm beyond tired. I'm beyond fed up. I'm now angry. Right. Um, in a previous submission, um, Kweku Baku was saying that, oh, he thinks that, you know, maybe the um, judges are not being given their increment because maybe perhaps there's no money. And, you know, perhaps, you know, the meat is too near the bone or, you know, indeed we've chewed the bone and powdered it and then there's mm. no more mm. left. And I just think that, and I know it's been hammered on, but really, yes, it, it just seems like a lack of will just to get the money. Hmm. It's like, okay. It yes, it seems. Yeah. I have no, I and have no, opinion. Opinion. It yeah, it's my opinion. Pretty where it seems. Um, <laughs> and also as well, I, you know the thing that really bothers me, I, I'm coming from another angle, yeah? <laughs> no one here is perfect, as has been said. For whatever disagreements, whatever we may think of Martin Amadou, yeah? He has done something not many Ghanaians would do. He's put himself on the line. That's right. Yes. And he is somebody who has fought to protect the public purse, and now he's being vilified. And I don't like that. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, you may disagree. You might have said some, made some utterances that are not palatable or have not been substantiated. But to make this person almost like an enemy of the state, come on. The man has tried. We should all be protecting the public purse. Yeah, it's not just the public officials. We should all do it. A man that's put himself on it the line. It doesn't even matter that he makes allegations that he doesn't prove them. No, no, no. Oh. Well, anyway, I, I, mean, I can't, I can't <laughs> boldly call him a liar. Yeah. All I can say is that certain of, of his allegations he hasn't managed to provide evidence for. Yeah. It doesn't mean that he doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. It means that I haven't he seen it. Well, I haven't it. seen it. You so should I guess, him. Martin, well, I'm not, him. not going to, I'm not going to go to him. <laughs> it's his own prerogative. <laughs> if he chooses to, he's not answerable to me. Or your producer should call you see, he's you not know, answerable make your to point me. and don't be answering on neighbor man. Just go on. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, so <laughs> no, it's not true. Mm. Please. Martin uh, Amidu is very Omani, 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 Omani. Cut it, cut it, cut My it. My brother, why Please are you continue. not calling Mati Amidu? I'm not calling him. I don't Joseph, intend to. You are fond of calling Mati Amidu. You will not direct how this program call goes. Call Mati Amidu. We will not call him. And let him speak to his lies. We will not call him. Amidu, get Go out ahead. of the hole in which you are hiding. No, Omani, please. And speak to your lies. Omani, you are a minister of state. My brother, crying out loud. when the truth is being sacrificed, when the truth is being... Please. Crucified. I can't talk when it's heckling. Okay, now proceed. Okay, mm. so yeah, so as I, as I was saying, I think, that's, I think that is a shame. And I just think at the end of the day, everybody just asking, we want the money. That's all. 
Yeah, I think it's wrong. I don't think it, there's some there's something that I think is quite uncomfortable with me that he's choosing the terms of payment. Yeah, I mean he's the one that got the money illegally. We should be we should dictate the state should dictate how he pays. Mm. So you know four million it's like a drop in the ocean. So the sooner we get the money, the better. That's all. I think we should. All right. I think that's a good note on which uh, to take a very final break. But before that, um, okay, uh, Michael Quay was talking about issues of watching brief like it happens in a criminal matter. And uh, you're being reminded that in a civil proceeding, there's nothing like watching oh, no, brief. I, that's what I, I yeah, just you're trying you to that, make an the example. analogy. Right. And that's right. where even, Thank you. Um, I'm just Thank coming. you. Kweku made right. the analogy that's that... That's you should not be replying it. It's okay. I know. Right. That, you remember we Kweku's example you, that the Supreme Court, we, we can hear them. indication for you. you no, okay. Let's take it. Um, you give me legal okay. indication. Okay, I'll go for a break, and I'll come to take the messages, and then... We'll go to talk about the Supreme Court rescuing December 7. We'll be right back. <laughs>